bouncing baby boy, who some are calling a medical miracle. The first child born in the U.S. to a mother with a transplanted uterus. She didn't want her identity known, but doctors at Baylor University in Dallas shared her joy. There was something so exciting about this because the patients are so excited. After all that I've delivered, this is, this is probably the most special one. Doctors say one in 500 women are infertile, either because they were born without a uterus or had it removed because of cancer or some other complication. Since 2014, eight babies have been born via transplant in Sweden. Emily Erickson used her mother's uterus to give birth to her son. There was a small, small chance for me to, to get pregnant, so I took it. Four previous attempts in the U.S. have failed after nine patients completed the procedure. The surgery itself is high risk and largely covered by research funds. The transplants are temporary, left in place just long enough for the patient to have one or two children. What type of hope does this offer for women in the U.S.? It opens up new doors. They may have a chance to achieve pregnancy on their own without a surrogate or without, without adoption. A breakthrough procedure signaling a new frontier for medicine and new hope for families. <laughs> Morgan Radford, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.